What's going on everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review and my own personal collection. You know, very rarely will I actually buy a device that I'm picking up merely for the reason of me wanting the device by myself. A lot of times I'll buy something because someone's requested me to do a review or it's a new product and I just want to get that review out there so people could hear my side of the story and how I feel about that device. When I first saw the review for this, I got super pumped up. Now it is a high-end device. I'm just going to throw that out the window now. However, being the size of this, it's really not that expensive. This is made by the same people that made the Cherry Bomber, Raptor, there was so much stuff that MCV has made, the Atomic RDA, a lot. When I first saw this a year ago, I got super pumped up because I wanted to get one and I have a lot of contacts for Filipino high-end stuff and I contacted everybody. I even contacted the people that did the review on it, hoping that the people that did the review would sell me their device that they did the review on. No dice. I even shot the shit with homeboy Josh, who I haven't seen in a long time. And I was like, hey, man, listen, I'll give you four beans for it. Well, I guess, oddly enough, this company listened. And either they found a stash of them, or they just recreated them. So here I am right now with one of the most beautiful 30 millimeter RDAs there are known to man. If you ever watch my reviews and I'm always like, what does it fit? What does this mod fit for a 30 millimeter? I always use the TM30, which I really like for a 30 millimeter dripper. Super compact, just really, really nice. Has a little custom drip tip on there. But listen, there's not a whole lot of intricacy when we're talking about 30 millimeter drippers. They're kind of just four post or three post, I should say. Two post situations, can't say I've ever seen a two post. With 30 millimeter RDAs, there's not really a whole lot of intricacy going on. It's usually a three post with a center block of two or a two post. That's very rare to see a two post 30 millimeter dripper. It's also very rare to see a postless 30 millimeter dripper. Anyway, long story short, so what we're looking at today is the Warhead. Comes in a little plastic bag. Of course, I'm gonna bring this down, show you everything that's included with it. There's really not a whole lot because it is a high-end RDA, but this thing is sexy as shit. There's no debating that whatsoever. I don't want to ruin it, even though I already kind of ruined it, because I was waiting on this. Guys, listen, I've never wanted a 30 millimeter dripper as bad as I wanted this. Just because all the 30 millimeter drippers that are out there are kind of long, they're robust, they're wide, they're fat, they're chubby. Well, I mean, it's 30 millimeters, so... <laughs> Naturally, all of those are probably already a selection when making a dripper. So this device is made from a company called MCV. That's the initials. And I do believe the person's name that runs the company is Joy Soriano. I might be saying that incorrectly. And if I am, I totally apologize for butchering your name. This company also is known for making a lot of different mods. Parallel. I'm not sure if they made a lot of series. They made a lot of, they did the Fuel RDTA, the Fuel V2, the, the Forge RDA. This company did so much stuff out of the Philippines. It would be crazy for someone to know high-end and not know this company. So without further ado, let's bring this down. Let's flip it. Warhead 30 millimeter RDA. Not really a whole lot going on with this as far as presentation is concerned. It's a Ziploc baggie. There's a long going joke that when you buy high-end, it's not high-end unless it comes in a Ziploc baggie. And the reason why that is, I'm not really quite sure. I'm assuming it's because they want to make as much money as possible or save as much money as possible in actually sending out the RDA. Let me just show you this. These things look like the size of baby cockroaches. These are screws for the post and they are absolutely massive. Really, really big threaded Allen screws and some extra O-rings and inside the peripheral bag, you're gonna get an adapter. This adapter allows you to use their proprietary size and then convert it over to a 510 drip tip. I don't know why they wouldn't make an 810 adapter versus a 510. Maybe this is the original adapter that this came with. I'm very unsure as to the situation with this RDA. They were released about a year ago. A few reviews are about a year old and now they have it again, but nothing really has changed between that version and this. So I don't know if they found like a stock of what they had or if they brought it back for a limited time. I'm not quite sure as to the situation with this dripper. I will tell you this, 
if you are looking at picking one of these drippers up, I'll provide a link in the description down below as to where you could get this. Now, normally I wouldn't do that, but with high end, there's always that question as to how do I get my hands on this? On the top, you're gonna have a very, very proprietary size. Pull that out. No O-ring on the top cap whatsoever. Your O-ring is going to be all on the base of the drip tip itself. You have an anti-spitback feature going on there. Usually what happens with anti-spitback drip tips is juice will always get over here in this vicinity on top. Now on this dripper, what you're gonna notice is there is absolutely massive amounts of airflow on this. Okay, on the bottom of the dripper, it's gonna say Masterpiece custom vapes that's what the mcv stands for and then it's serial number 0325 now keep in mind this was used so any kind of reflections or dirties you see on here is because of me and using this device so on the side it says warhead by joy soriano on the top where the cutout is it is very very smooth but there's this inside edge that is very very sharp it's not like you're going to cut yourself really because why are you accessing that without a drip tip in it Unless, of course, you just like to tailpipe it. That's where you put your lips all over this and inhale and get everything without a drip tip. Yeah, people actually do that. Okay, so let's take a look at this. First off, wow. The amount of airflow that you're going to be able to bring into this dripper is absurd. You have multiple ways of adjusting the airflow on this. Two and a half by four and a quarter and there's one two three four five and then on the exact opposite side same situation again no single call option with this being a 30 millimeter dripper there should be absolutely no reason why you want to run single coil there is one other dripper i could think of that actually allows you to use a single coil with a 30 millimeter and that's really for presentation purposes only the dripper i'm talking about is the death trap rda by death wish mods now i know you're we're not here for this but i figured I'd show you because people would probably want to see what it looks like to have a single coil inside of a 30 millimeter dripper. There you go. Yeah, the coil in there is ridiculous. It wasn't the best experience that I had uh, with the company. The owner had came and tried to defend his honor because he didn't like my opinion. You know, typical shit that I deal with every single day. So you have your airflow that is adjustable on the top all by itself also for the bottom piece if you want to adjust that all you're going to do is just spin the top cap as it's on there like that what happens though is because the way that the airflow is on the top it lines up with the airflow on the bottom so even doing that all that's doing is putting your airflow on the top on the opposite side so it's probably beneficial for you to use this just the way that it's cut out like that and then you could just adjust this the way you see fit to really restrict the airflow the machining on this top cap is really really well done i know you could use the argument that it is a really big piece of metal there should be no reason why it's not good machining i'm not going to go there all i'm going to say is that this machining for this dripper is really really nice and you're really going to see that when i show you the deck post holes are huge the depth of the well is huge and before you ask if this comes with a squonk pin it does not we have a nine millimeter deep well no squonk pin one post block with two negatives that are milled directly into the dripper itself the thickness of the wall is about two millimeters so that is going to cut the amount of space that you have to build whatever you see fit inside of here it's not an extremely large building space just because of the post scenario in the center and really the depth of the well and the thickness of the actual dripper usually thicker drippers retain heat much much more but due to the amount of airflow that you can have incoming to this dripper it should alleviate a lot of the heat that would be prevalent in most scenarios where your dripper is going to be this thick bottom of the dripper you have a lip what that does is that stops leaking from coming out of your portholes and then leaking through the bottom here that does not alleviate juice coming out of the air ports on the actual cap or the chimney just through the dripper itself it's a single o-ring scenario i feel they could have went one more o-ring just to make it that much more secure the allen screws that are in here are very 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 large very thick threading absolutely monstrosity i hate when you're doing a build like for instance i was doing a dual core of 24 with 38 on the outside i hate when you're doing it and this happens right here who knows about this so what you're looking at is a three millimeter inner diameter 24 gauge dual core with 38 on the outside 
nine wraps. Let's do it. Even though this is nine wraps, I have a feeling it's gonna be really, really low. 0.22 watts, knew it was gonna be low. That is the Warhead 30 millimeter RDA by MCV. Let's bring it on the top. All right, all right, what's up there, you rowdy bitch? This is what we got going on. Listen, I didn't wanna pull this out, but I figured using a 30 millimeter RDA, why not go balls to the wall, take my penis out, put it on the floor, let you step on, and then we can dance together. Sound like a plan? Oh. Right. So here we are back on the top with the Warhead 30 millimeter RDA sitting on top of the Berserker. I don't want to get into this, but there was a live show that I did that we calculated how much power this thing puts out. We're just going to say a thousand watts. That's all we're going to say. Because of the amount of power that I'm going to put through this, which is about 50 duty cycles, this bitch ramps. Let me show you what I'm talking about. No jump cuts. Here we go. And bring it back a little bit because that shit is spicy pizza. Here you go. The amount of power that is going through this is obnoxious. The little ballies that fly off are so hot. Guys, listen, I might lose my eyebrow, but you know, they were always on fleek, so it's okay if it becomes fle without the eek. Eek! Fleek! For leak. No? Okay. Here we go. 50 duty cycles. Zero milligrams just because I want to keep my toes attached to my foot. It's like an atomic mushroom. <laughs> it's like a mushroom that clock. Watch. My mod does its own jellyfishes. To give you guys a better example, this is a 0.2, and I know you can use the argument that it's like a series, but we're running a LiPo 12.1 Venom pack in that. Hot. Woo! Let's just do it. Here we go. Running two verts and the full horizontal. Here we go. I spit back my asshole. One more time. No jump cuts. This is how rowdy this is. Not even hot. Crazy, right? It's because of the amount of airflow you're pushing through. No jump cuts, look. It's still that rowdy. You wanna, you wanna try? Come over here. They said last time that Brie handled this like a champ. I wanna see her take a hit like how I'm taking. Let's make sure it's wet. It's a little dry, saturated up, no jump cuts. They said that she handled it. Jay, you were a bitch. Okay, all right. So, no jump cuts, here we go, this is it. Yep, just like that. Love his jellyfishes. Have fun. <laughs>
Uh, you have to blow it out. You have to look a little bit cooler. Don't okay. try to hide it. How, just, how do I look cool? You just you just just hit it and just blow it okay. out. Okay. Okay. So. Cool. And now. Maybe I'm just a champ. Do it again. No, you're not even like really hitting it. You're just hitting it like a bitch. Hit it like you mean that. Hit it. There you go. Do it again. Do three, just like me. Go. And out. <laughs> <laughs> go again. One more time. <laughs> just get free. Go again. Go. Go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you can laugh, you can breathe. Go. Okay. Go. Go now! One, two, Your three, pressure. go! Go! Take it! Go! Those are the bitches hits! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, I want to tell you, this shit dries up quick. It dries up quick. Say something. No? You don't want to say nothing? Hit it again. Because you're going to cough. Because you're going to cough. One more time. Go. Everybody's waiting. It's zero milligrams. Nothing should be happening. Go. She has the worst exhale. The way Brie vapes is like this. She does this. I'm, I'm going to call, we're going to call this the umbrella vape. Because instead of doing a stream, she does this. <laughs> Fancy, I, have a <laughs> what? I see the amount of vapor production we're getting off of this. Grant, listen, this mod is not for amateurs. It's really not. Because the amount of airflow that this dripper has, fully wide open, is almost intolerable. It's that much. You can't inhale as quick as the air is coming in, if that makes sense. This dripper is just straight up nasty. The machining on it gorgeous the way it hits the airflow is a little bit of overkill even if you close up the whole top and just leave half the slit open on the bottom that's still a lot of airflow i'm glad that mcv brought this back out because i was dying to get my hands on it i really really like it an immense amount of airflow traveling through that so it's just going to keep that dripper cool so how would i rate this dripper on a zero to ten if you like 30 millimeter drippers then before I even give it a rating, I 100% recommend you to pick this up if you could find it. It is going to be on a little bit on the steeper side for most people that like affordable Chinese drippers. This is not that. It's a little bit more money than what you're used to seeing for drippers. Then again, it's a 30 millimeter and a tie-in. But on a 0 to 10 rating, probably an 8. Maybe a 7.5. I would have much rather preferred a regular black drip tip in the same fashion. So I have to give it a point off for that. Now I would like to give it a point off for all the airflow, but I don't know if that's necessarily a negative thing because it's all adjustable. It's not like it's set and it's stationary. You can tweak it and move it around, but I don't know anybody that would vape on this wide open it's just it's entirely too much air i feel like there could be a little bit more of the build deck and take away from the actual center post and how thick it is but if we're going to keep it the way that it is it's not bad the way that it is i know people are going to ask whether or not i would prefer that over a twisted message 30 because it's usually the 30 that i show that i have a build in that's ready to rock and roll Yes, I would. And that's because of, not like I'm going to use it, but just the option of all that airflow. Twist the Messes has a lot of airflow. I don't want to degrade that and say that it doesn't. And I have a custom drip tip for that. It's really low profile. This is just the super sexy dripper. I love the way it looks. I like how snubby it is. I even like the way that the airflow looks. Now, for those of you, there you go. For those of you that own some drippers, you may recognize those little slits from like the phenotype. Granted, they're much shorter and chubbier, but you get the idea. I feel that the bottom and the top airflow adjustments should be independent and individualized. The reason why is because if you want to adjust the bottom airflow, you're adjusting the top airflow and it's not going to line up properly with the coils. 
If you want to get the most amount of flavor, you always want your airflow directly on the coils. But all in all, this is just an absolutely solid device. The flavor, the vapor production, the construction, everything about this dripper, I absolutely love. 7.58. Obviously, I can't go 10 just because I like something a lot or really love it doesn't constitute a 10. There's always things that could be improved. I can't promise you you'll ever see me use it because I don't really use 30 millimeter drippers. However, you will see this sitting on top top of some of the mods when I'm talking about whether or not a 30 millimeter RDA fits on top of it. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay, he's out.